Hello guys, welcome back. In the last tutorial we learned about catching errors and exceptions. This tutorial is going to be about file handling and file reading, file writing and stuff like that. Probably we'll have to make this uh, thing in two pieces but I'll try to squeeze it in. However, I'm not going to miss points, important points and stuff like that so I'm going to try to do it but if I can't it's going to be in two separate things because I, I have to give you the information that I need to give I can't cut on that right so yeah so let's start with file reading no let's start in file writing let's just create a file okay so to do that what I'm gonna do is uh, okay yes okay let's start well to read to write a file you need to have a um, blah, what you call buffered file writer what it does is, well, basically, it's uh, you can have normal file writer, but the main advantage with um, buffered file writer is that it would it's more efficient and it's more faster and is well, I think it is advantage over the file writer. So uh, we are only gonna learn about buffered writer because throughout the entire course, I'm gonna use um, buffered writer only and not file writer because it's crap. So let's continue to writing a buffered file writer which would, would which would write a file so um, let's create buffered writer you do buffered writer uh, file writer uh, I'm just gonna, gonna call it FW equals uh, let's okay now you're gonna get this uh, um, this thing bulby thing so click on it and add import for java.io dot um, buffered writer to show off you can type this yourself but there's no need new buffered writer and inside you need a file writer so what it's gonna do is it's gonna take the file writer and it's gonna make it um, like buffered writer so inside this well you can do it externally you can have a file writer fw uh, whatever blah blah blah, blah equals, n equals new file writer and stuff like this however I think it's more better to have it inside so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this off bring this up and new file writer and inside you need to pass the file path in this case it's C users my name slash desktop so the file is gonna be at the desktop so it's C and since the backslash is an escape character in Java, you'll have to type double backslash to put one backslash. So one backslash would mean that it's not a backslash. Two backslashes would mean that it's one backslash. This is a bit weird, but uh, this is the way it works. If it if um, this would be C sharp, you can add an at um, symbol here, and you can have uh, single slashes. However, this is not C sharp as we all know, and, and as the um, title of this tutorial says, and as the NetBeans word here says, this is Java. So, we're just going to continue with the C users uh, again, double, month, and double, desktop, double, and the file name, which is going to be super secret, super secret file, dot txt. <laughs> So this is a super secret file, which would contain oh a line. It's and we need an import for file writer. Well, to avoid these crappy lines, what you can do is you can replace this with an asterisk. So that would import everything. Now another problem in here is that this can cause exceptions, like the access rights. So the code might not have access to write a file in this in this um, folder or in this folder or in this folder or on this drive whatever to solve them you need to have a try and catch around them and since we are lazy people I'm just gonna click here and I'm gonna do surround statement with try and catch this is gonna put the try and catch block automatically for me and it's gonna put this shitty thing which I hate but it doesn't matter for now so it doesn't matter now so so now we have buffer writer so we are creating a buffer writer here we are going to continue writing the code in here and if any exception happens it's going to get the logger and just do some stuff I don't know so 
we're gonna get the buffered rider and it's a file rider. So well, what we're gonna do is this is first change this FW with BW. Okay. Because it's a uh, buffered rider and I know it would be more um, what you call much more cooler to have an M between them, so like that, but no. This is this is job. We need to focus up. Uh, okay, so buffered rider we look at the new buffered rider and okay so we are writing something and i'm gonna do bw dot write and you need to write a string into it so you can uh, as the box says you can have a character array you can have string you can have an int c you can have character array with character array off offset and length string blah 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 but we're just gonna type a string so let's go it Let's put it this way: that you, what can be the super secret? Hmm. Uh, well, super secret can be. There is no secret. I I I know this sucks, but because I can't think of anything better. There's no secret. So this is gonna type. This is gonna put this text inside the buffered writer. And remember, after you do all your uh, what you call writing stuff, you need to close the. Um, buffer writer so you can do bw dot close to close it and uh, oops okay uh, okay I'm good so we're opening it to write something and then we're gonna close it so this is how it works for now so basically now we are safe to run the program and if we run it you should have super secret file on the desktop so as I reveal this uh, as you see on my desktop I'm just gonna click on it as you see on my desktop, I don't have a file called super secret file. And I'm going to go in here back and uh, it says super secret file.txt should be there soon. I'm just going to run the code, shift F6, and build successful. So I have a file here, super secret file. I'm just going to open the super secret file and I'm going to make sure that there's uh, we've got no one around me. There is no secret. Oh crap. Okay, so that was disastrous. Let's read it. Okay, how do you read a file? Okay, let's comment out this code, and you might be uh, well, you were wondering how did I did the um, following thing, which is this. It's Control Shift and C, so nothing to panic. It's like, oh my god, that was some alien thing that he did. It's not. Okay, let's continue. Buffer writer bw equals new buffer writer. Uh, why am I reading that? Let's continue to read the file. What we're gonna do is we're gonna read the super secret file. We have the location of the file, which is C users blah blah blah. I'm just gonna copy that location. And to read the file similarly, you need a, a buffered reader. So buffered reader br equals new buffered reader new file reader and that's it and that my son is gonna read a file from that text file that I have specified here it is gonna well no it's not gonna do anything now I'm just gonna uh, do a jail champagne dot show message dialogue uh, file contains I'm gonna print the thing in new line and it's gonna be br dot read lines. It's gonna read one line, and that's it. And oh shit. And if you don't wanna drag the mouse all the way around, you can just press alt enter as I like. Add in, and just press enter again, it's gonna add import automatically. And it this can't uh, looks like it's come ah. Oh my god. Okay, so the file contains BR the read line. So it's going to read the first line, it's going to display it there. Okay, so let us start off. Mm, okay, let's execute the code F6, and it's going to say file contains, there's no secret. So as you see, we have successfully written a data into the buffered reader. And we have successfully got the data out of the buffered reader, buffered of the file. Okay, let's do another thing. 
let's do some advanced file reading. I mean, it's not really advanced, but oh, I'm just saying. Buffered uh, again. Uh, file path, which is this, and uh, the okay. I'm gonna create an array here, string array. Array equals new. Okay. Uh, uh, of uh, three items. Yeah. And I'm just gonna do it. Uh, okay. Uh, you can also initialize an array in this way if and if I haven't told you about this in my previous tutorial then I'm really sorry and um, tell your friends to look at this tutorial because if they have if, if I haven't told them in the previous version of the video then I, I really I really apologize so okay so uh, the array would contain three items which is a lion again lions first yeah hey tiger and I'm not gonna put the stupid goat in here is going to be Jaguar. Okay. Some colon. Okay, what's wrong? I don't need three actually. Yeah. So I've, you know, I've successfully initialized an array containing three items lion, tiger, and jaguar. Now I'm going to need a for loop, which is for array. Uh, sorry, string. S in array, and I'm gonna do bw dot write that one. And well, it it actually um like what do you call it? doesn't matter which one you choose. Okay, so it's, it's code and stuff. bw dot write, and I'm gonna do S. I'm gonna write the S thing, and I'm gonna have a uh, b. And I'm gonna do S plus new line. Uh, okay, let's not do this, this crap because we're just gonna do S plus. Okay, and in the end, we're gonna do VW.close. Okay, so looks like this should work. Press F6 and it has done it. And let's open the super secret file. It has lion, tiger, and jaguar. And yes, so this is also a way that we use to write things in the buffered writer. And you can successfully copy this. <laughs> successfully, wow. Buffered uh, reader. Reader, because it's the same code except writer. And being lazy does not hurt. And we are, because you can't have two uh, variables with the same name. S in. Okay, now you can't have a for each loop here. What you need is redefine a string variable, S. And you initialize it as a blank variable. And you need a while, then one bracket, and then inside you put another bracket, and you say s equals br dot read line. Okay. Not equals no. Well, let me break this down. So we are assigning s. We are assigning read lines. So we are assigning the the line to s the current line which in this case if the loop is executed for the first time is one so line one we are executing line one to s so any text in line one would be assigned to s and if the assigned text is not equal to null then you do message append that string uh, plus equals s and br dot close and show message dialog no msg okay so what we're gonna I'm just gonna comment this code out and because uh, we're not gonna need it because we already have the file and we're gonna read the file we are gonna loop through each line in the file and we are gonna append the line to msg and then we are going to display MSG. So let's run this code. And this is a build successful. Oh, not now. Lion Tiger Jaguar is successfully read the line from the file. 
Okay, now if I edit the file, if I open the file, and if I add a new line, like, welcome. Uh, yeah. Okay. And I've uh, pressed Control S. You can't really cr keep pressing here, but I've I've done it. Now if I run this thing, I should get my welcome. Yay! See, so it read each line and it displayed. If I wanted to, if I want to have another line, so I say N run the code yeah, and lion tiger jaguar that's my first line and welcome is my second line and yay is my third line so that was it for the file reading and writing tutorial we have successfully created uh, files and we have successfully read them using the buffered reader and the buffered writer and in the next tutorial we're gonna look into hash maps or graphical user interfaces now I'm, I'm, I'm a bit I'm now thinking whether to add the uh, um, thorough graphical interface tutorials for Java because in the graphical interface because I've uh, noticed that people are having trouble using the NetBean GUI builder and they are having troubles using controls and stuff like that because um, certain controls require certain um, different techniques of uh, what you call feeding data in so I'm thinking whether to add the the detailed graphical user interface tutorials or not however I might, uh, I'm gonna um, what you call decide it later so for now it can be hash map or it can be the detailed graphical interface um, graphical user, user interface um, series so well uh, you'll see you then and if you think that I should do the graphical interface one then just post below and I would listen to you guys cuz I enjoy making tutorials actually <laughs> Okay, so I'll see you guys later. Till then, have a good one and enjoy making files.